right, hello and welcome back. We're gonna energize down and face the Fembot. Or Womanoid? I forget. It's definitely our noid. Alright. So we have come down, meanwhile. Keep an eye on the appearance here of the you know rock formation and where the ship is landed because we're going to want to have that in mind for later and where the kind of entrance whatever you want to call it comes down oh this one has a jetpack all right so we're going to quickly just wander away and there's a couple of things that we're going to want to collect to help us in dealing with the Fembot. So she's going to kind of constantly be chasing us around. I'm going to come to this side first, climb out on this branch. Nope. Keep that in mind, however, because we are going to want to remember we can hide in there later. Yeah, climb out on this branch. We will fall, but it will fall with us. <laughs> and Roger's gonna turn into a Weeble Wobble, apparently. Alright, and after a quick clean out, we got the branch, and again, head back up. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen her yet. Maybe we just haven't stayed still long enough, but... Oh, there she is. You can see some uh, branches and things getting disrupted. And that's how you know that she's... in the area. Now uh, we wanna... Can't... Oh, right. Um, we wanna grab one of these bananas. We're gonna use the stick. And once we have it swinging, you can grab one. You manage to grab one of the pieces of fruit and liberate it from the swinging cluster. Then, shoving it into your pocket, you add to the increasingly impressive bulge in your uniform. Um, so, I don't know if it's technically a banana, but I call it a banana. It's banana esque. Um, Alright, so now that we have these two items, what we want to do is head off to the left here. Let me go through this way. And our Fembot should appear on the opposite side of the screen very shortly. Yep, there she is. She'll come up over here. And she's going to follow us through this series of tunnels. So we definitely do not want to go back into this tunnel here, or we will be blasted. Oh, there you go. You saw her walking under here. We're going to jump across this way. And actually, we want to climb up here, which maybe we just walk. No, don't do that. Go back. Yes, 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 she has cloaking, it's not great. Um, oh, hopefully she actually comes where I want her to. Okay, there we go, all right. At least I figured out how to properly climb up there. Um, so, I think I'm gonna have to loop back around and draw her back out. Oh good, all right. She is back. If you keep an eye on the waterfall, you'll watch her walk under it, and right after that is when... Oh, yeah, you can see her walking across the pond as well. Yeah, as she goes under the waterfall is when Roger will come out, and then we'll climb up here. We're gonna get our... Oop, we already had it out. We're gonna get on our stick, and we're gonna use it to drop this rock. Got some excellent velocity and distance, and take her right out. Looks like you bouldered over with boulder over 
With your ingenuity, Raj, she's cooling her jets at the bottom of that pool below. Nice work. All right. Um, sweet. Well, let's go uh, look at our good work. That's probably fast to go the other way. That's fine. It's fine. It's a gorgeous view. Reminds me a little bit of um, Quest for Glory 3. A little bit of the layout and um, the feel of this planet, I guess. Um, Alright, so... Got some glowing colors there in the pool. By stretching your limited ingenuity to the fullest, you've managed to knock out WD-40's cloaking mechanism. The downside is now she's really ticked off. All right, so we took out the cloak, but haven't taken out her entirely. So now we're going to jump to the second part of our plan, which is to hide inside this little tree. And we're going to hang out here until she lands right on top of us. We're going to take our little banana or banana-like fruit. I know you're here somewhere, Wilco. Come out and face me like a woman. It's your destiny! And we're going to jam it into her jetpack so that when she tries to take off, pressure builds. And we have one less fembot. Now we do need to collect the head here. And you can go to try to check out her ship right now. But there's nothing you can do with it just yet. So what we actually want to do is head back to where we started. And Cliffy will come down and join us. Hey, Captain, we'll all be. You're still in one piece. The ship scanners picked up a large explosion, and we drew lots to see who got to come down and collect your remains. And you lost. Nope, I won. <laughs> but I'm relieved to see anyway, sir. It will save a lot of uncomfortable explanations back at Starcom. I see you got the robot's head there, sir. I've been looking for it. Now I'll beam you back up to the ship and then finish picking up the pieces down here. Alright. Um, so, what we want to do is head out. And before we take off anywhere, we need to deal with Spike who is still doing all kinds of damage to the ship. I think you heard Cliffy beaming in. It might be a good idea to give him that android head. It would be a good idea. We'll come back in. Sometimes Spike comes in right now. Hey, Cliffy, I have something for you. Let me toss him the head. I just wanted to get you... I just wanted you to get ahead. <laughs> Good one there, Raj. Um, and I missed exactly what he said, but basically he's giving us a remote. I was putting the WD-40 unit back together, and I had a couple pieces left over. Thought you might like a souvenir. Here you go. Thanks, I guess. I don't know if Roger's too thrilled about the idea of putting this uh, robot back together, but that's fine. So we're going to step out and then back in. You might do this a time or two until Spike finally shows up. But usually if you just walk a little south towards the uh, transporter, he'll come out. There we go. And then there's a few things we're going to want to do. Step one, of course, is just catching him. But that's not so difficult since he... Uh, Gives us a big ol' hug. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna open up this containment thing over here. And we're gonna put Spike into it. And if you just leave right now, he'll exit because the top's not on. But even if you do put the top on, he'll get so agitated that he'll still jump out. So we need to take this uh, uh, antacid, because we've seen he's very acidic. Put him in there. And then close the top. 
poor little fella must have eaten something that didn't agree with him. Those antacids should reduce the acidity of his metabolism. Sure. You're a genius, sir. I would have given him a chili dog. Um, fair enough, Blippi. Fair enough. Oops. Um, all right. Now let's hop on board here. And what we're actually going to do is beam back down. Um, and hopefully Cliffy comes with us. Energize. Wait up, Captain. I'll go with you. It's good that this platform recognizes the term wait up before doing what it was told to do. All right, and now we are back where the ship initially landed. Hey, why did we beam in here? I wonder if this little device had anything to do with it. <clears throat> I do appreciate the fact that they saved us the effort of having to walk all the way around. Hey, what gives? This must be the cloaked ship of that killer android. Neat. <laughs> Neat. Cliffy's not quite as agile as us, huh? Go on without me, Captain. I'm not going to make it. Um, all right, so let's use this little remote. Oh, goodness, how do we even use it? Um, yeah, there we go. Must just clicked in the wrong spot. Now this is kind of an interesting piece here. Um, we have a little puzzle to solve. We have to solve it quickly enough to not die. Um, so we're going to try to open this panel here. And I don't know if there's a way that you're supposed to just know what to do. Aha, this must be where the cloaking device is housed. Some sort of locking mechanism. This should be easy to crack open, I guess. Uh, but there is a timer. And, um, uh-oh, it appears that you have triggered some sort of alarm. Better get this thing and get out of here fast. All right, so we're going to do the top, bottom, and, yeah, so I believe you have to do things in the correct order or it won't open. Um, oops. But how you're supposed to know what order to do things in, I don't know. Um, oops. Because oh, what is it? Um, so it should be bottom left, top right. I have a bad feeling about this. No idea how much time we have. Yeah, they won't reclose again. Um, Alright, let's do this. Yeah, I don't know if you're just supposed to figure this out by trial and error, or if you're supposed to find it in some way. There we go. I don't know what happened. Um, I have no idea how you do it right or how you do it wrong. Now, get out of here. Um, but you just kind of... I guess trial and error, I think. I don't think there's anything that ever teaches you or any solution elsewhere in the game. I got it. Let's move before this thing blows. I'm reasonably certain that once you get it out, you can't die. Um, that's as long as you get it open. Oof. Ooh, wow, Chief. Uh, did that hurt? It looked real painful. You okay? Fine, perfect. Now help me up. Sure thing. Here you go. Uh, I'll get around to installing this device as soon as I finish my repairs to the android. Are you sure that fixing her is a good idea, Cliffy? I'm still not sold on the whole plan. Trust me, sir. Just because you had a slight misunderstanding, there's no reason she can't become a valuable member of the crew. Slight misunderstanding? Cliffy, she tried to kill me. Well, there is that. But I'm pretty sure I can crank down her lethality settings a couple notches. Afterwards, she'll probably just want to beat you severely. That's not going to cut it, Cliffy. I suppose you're right, sir. It's probably kind of hard to captain a ship if you've been beaten senseless, but I do think it would keep 
uh, help keep you on your toes if she took a random swing at you now and again. I don't want to hear you so much as scowl at me, Cliffy. Uh, all right, sir, have it your way. Um, all right, very good. So we have dealt with Spike, we have dealt with WD-40, we have the tracking device, and we have completed all three, well, really I guess we never picked up the trash from here, but maybe the crew took care of it while we were away. Um, so we have no further orders currently, and I think we have earned ourselves a little bit of R&R. &R. Um, I could break this up into another video. Um, but I don't think it'll ultimately be long enough to warrant that, so. What do you got, Cliffy? Thanks for taking care of your critter, Captain. I finally managed to patch up the deck. Anything, Flo? We don't have a destination, sir. Good. Um, and never mind. Anything to say? Good. All right. So he already told us about the space bar. So that's where we're going to head now since we have a little time. Captain, we've been on duty for quite a while now, sir, and I think we could all stand some R&R. &R. So the space bar is... Where is it? There it is. Oh, yes. Coordinates locked in, sir. Ready to get underway. And let's go to light speed. Aye, right, sir. And I don't think anyone else has anything new to say. Let's see what she knows about the space bar. The space bar is a great place to hang out, Captain. Great addition, Flo, great addition. All right, let's just slow down. Enjoy the stars flying past us. We're approaching our destination, Captain. All right, regular speed. Aye, sir. Let's go to orbit. Standard orbit. Hi. And here we are at the space bar. <laughs> they didn't last very long. Let's party. Last one down to the Staten is a rotten or at Ovum. Let's step back and, you know, I changed my mind. Um, <clears throat> these are kind of very distinct portions of the story, so even if it would fit time-wise, and I might end up with kind of a short video next time, maybe I'll just show a little bit more of a, a part that I was planning on largely skipping, but they're going to all energize down. Um, so I'll step on the platform, and just like last time, as we're standing waiting to energize down, I will end the video here. And when we come back, we will uh, take some R&R &R at the space bar. But till then, see ya.